So you probably clicked on this video because you also want to become like an expert or at least a more advanced level of lucid dreamer than you currently are. So in this video, I wanna share some of the most powerful things, tips, uh, techniques, ideas that I've learned in the many years that I've been a lucid dreamer. And hopefully you can find something useful here and, and use it for yourself. So firstly, and I know I've said this before, but dream recall is the most important thing when you're first starting out and pretty much throughout the journey. If you can't remember the dreams you're having, it doesn't matter if they're lucid or not. It doesn't matter how many reality checks you're doing. It doesn't matter how many techniques you're trying. If you can't remember the dreams you're already having, it's gonna be impossible to have you know, meaningful lucid dreaming experiences if you don't remember them. So memory is the fundamental thing you should start with. And if you can't remember one to two lucid dreams, normal dreams per night, then don't even bother trying to learn how to lucid dream until you can remember two dreams per night. And before you say it, there's always a few people who say, well, I don't dream. I, I never remember my dreams because I'm not having any. Everyone is having dreams, unless you've suffered some kind of brain injury or trauma. And even in, in that case, you will probably start to adapt very quickly and have start to have dreams again. The brain needs to dream. So you are having dreams. It's just a case of whether you remember them or not. Okay, so the second thing that I did to become kind of an expert lucid dreamer is that I absorbed everything. And I've done this with any, any topic that I want to learn more about. I just absorb every single piece of information I can find. But don't just go out there with a kind of shotgun approach and just absorb the first thing you find. No. Here's what I would suggest you do. And this is certainly what I did. Is that you, in any topic you want to learn, find the experts. right? Find the people who are really good at it. They understand what they're talking about. And try and find like a diverse range of experts. So you get a balanced perspective, you get the opinion of somebody from a purely scientific point of view, you get the, the spirituality point of view, you get the, you know, the practical point of view, and, you know, various different points of views, so that you get a completely balanced perspective and you absorb information from all of these different types of people. You can also do things like, you know, go and listen to the top podcasts, read the top books, watch the top videos, so that you're not just getting all of your information from one place, let's say YouTube, you're also getting it from podcasts, you know, products, courses, books, articles online, even some Instagram accounts, right? Just try and get a balanced perspective. And what you want to look for is where things overlap. So where multiple people in different places, in different platforms are kind of saying the same things. This is where you will start to get an understanding of not only truth, but also what is the most effective. So the next thing I did, and I would advise you to do the same, is to focus on techniques. Only once you've learned about dream recall and you can remember you know, two dreams a night, when you've done that, yes, focus on techniques, but try and combine them. Try and optimize them and figure out the best ones that work for you. Because you've got to remember like techniques, every technique was pretty much invented or created by a person. So there's no reason you can't create a technique yourself. And really it's just a case of experimenting and finding what works for you. That being said, there's a lot of research that's been done showing that the mild technique, the mnemonically induced lucid dream is I would say one of, if not the most effective, but I don't want to say, you know, it, it's kind of a bad um, practice to say it's the most effective technique because it really does vary from person to person. But experiment, tweak these things, try them out for yourself and see what works for you. I'm going to share the most powerful tip in a second, but firstly, just stick with it. Okay, be patient. I know this stuff takes a long time and while you can do it instantly, it's possible to learn how to lucid dream in a few days, even tonight, let's say it's more likely than it's gonna take you a while. It's gonna take you a few days, a few weeks, a few months even to learn and build up the skills and actually have the experience, but don't let that put you off, okay? It's so worth it and the results you get when you really build up the habits will stay with you for a lifetime. So now my most powerful tip or kind of bit of advice that I can give you, and this is really focused on if you just only care about results and you don't specifically care about long-term habit building, if you just want to have your first, second, third experience and you don't care what it costs, you don't care what it's going to take, then interruption combined with intention will get you your fast results. That is the magic bullet in my opinion. So what a typical person will do is they'll sleep for eight hours, usually it'll be uninterrupted, and then they'll wake up in the morning and wonder why they haven't remembered any dreams. Well, what happens is that when you, we, we have these sleep cycles, right? So these 90 minute chunks of, of sleep, which are made up of sleep stages, and then usually we will have four to five sleep cycles in a night and our REM sleep will get longer, you know, as you get closer to waking up in the morning. So what you might want to do is to try and interrupt your sleep regularly in that last few hours of the night. 
And I actually created a technique sort of revolving around this called the 90 Isled. And you can find that on my YouTube channel or just search 90 Isled on my channel. And basically you wanna try and interrupt your sleep every 30 to 90 minutes so that you increase the chances that you're gonna wake yourself up either during, before, or just after REM sleep. And of course this makes it so much more likely that you will remember your dreams and then when you go back to sleep, especially if you've woken yourself up before or during the REM period, it's very likely that you're gonna lucid dream as well. If you combine that with an intention, and like I've said in other videos, intention is everything, by really deciding and intending to lucid dream, you make it 10 times more likely. So do this interruption technique, okay? And then also intend to actually have a lucid dream. I mean, that's half the battle is actually wanting to do it. And you know, if you don't wanna do it, then why are you still watching this video? <laughs> but just really intend to actually have a lucid dream, interrupt your sleep, and see what happens. I hope this has been helpful. I would love to hear your top tip and I will kind of try and read out the most upvoted one in my next video. I'll see you next time.